Oman's geographical position in between continents made it a desirable prey to many great empires. Portugal, Persia, Great Britain, each willing to conquer the country in order to build its own safe port from where to trade spices, slaves and gemstones. The CERN demand the nickname Land of Thousand Forts. A nickname that is pretty spot on, but I would also add to that Land of Thousand Coffees. Since every visit to a fort was followed by a stop at a bar or a friend's house, to chat for a little while, and have a cardamom coffee with a snack or two. Which <laughs> pretty soon became my travel routine. Stop, fort, coffee. Stop, fort, coffee. Stop, fort, coffee. I think I give an idea. This became a problem after a while, as all of the forts that I had seen began mixing up in my memory, creating a blurred image that resembled <laughs> all of them. And none of them at the same time. Which is pretty much the reason why, to this day, <laughs> I still don't know how many fortresses I have actually seen. nor how many coffees with snacks I had. Probably one too many. Ya habibi, qul marhamun ala al televisyoni. After having seen cities, canyons, sea, springs, and forts, we were finally off to the desert. The Umani Desert is the historical home of the Bedouins. A land without borders, warm, infinite red sea during the day, cold, never-ending starry sky at night. Open for anyone to try understanding it. And gentle with the few that succeed in it. As the sunset was approaching, our guide led us to a tent on top of the highest dune. He then sat down and started his fourth daily prayer. A calm farewell to the sun. Something that he had sung thousands of times before in his life. Just like his father did, and the many who came before him. A farewell in a language that I understood very little, but that spoke of feelings common to all humans in all ages. The same hopes, fears, passions and desires. Confided to the very same sound. 